Hi all, it's been a couple days. I kind of injured myself. I wanted to take a little bit of a break. So today I'm going to do um, about 30-35 minutes of a Pilates yoga flow mixed um, using pretty much the mat and a band if you have it. If you don't have a band, you don't have to use it. And a yoga block. If you don't have a yoga block, use a pillow or a towel rolled underneath you just to elevate your sacrum just a little bit like we do in some of my classes. If you have a squishy ball, even better. I don't have one here. Um, so we're going to get started. 30-35 minutes mat yoga and Pilates mat fusion. All right, so starting at the back of the mat, I'm gonna bring our feet hip width parallel, just kind of warm up our feet a little bit. So make sure that you're standing evenly on both feet, hands to your hips, and just take a few moments, rock left and rock right. Just finding your center on your feet, draw your shoulders back, relax the arms down, down on either side of your hips, kind of like a mountain pose. Engage, draw down into the feet, and feel energy rise up, pull your belly in, Relax the shoulders, broaden them out. Feel like they drop away from your ears. And then from here, we're just gonna start to warm up the feet. Inhale, lift up onto the balls of the feet, really pull the belly in, engage. And then exhale, sink your heels. Again, inhale, lift. Pull the abdominals in, exhale, lower. Good, let's do that three more times. Inhale, lift, really engage, activate your quads. Exhale, lower. Good, last two, inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. This is your last time like this. Inhale, lift. And exhale, lower. Good. Let's just move to our Pilates V position, sinking into the heels. Really zip up through the inner thighs. Pull your belly in, drop the shoulders, relax the arms. Then we're going to inhale, lift up onto the balls of the feet. The heels will separate. And then exhale, lower, sink the heels. Again, inhale, lift up. Pull the abdominals in, exhale, lower. Three more times, engage your buttocks. Inhale, lift, exhale, lower. Good, last two. Inhale, lift, exhale, lower. This is your last time, really pulling it up. Inhale, lift, and exhale, lower. Good, now return back to that um, parallel position. I'm gonna take a moment, turn sideways, pull the belly in, shift the weight into the heels, lift your toes up. Now go ahead, take your hands to your hips for a moment, draw the shoulders back. Now we're going to exhale, take a seat in an imaginary chair, and then stand back up. Good. Now again, inhale, sit. Exhale, press through. Good. Again, inhale, sit. Shift your weight back. Exhale, press through like you're sitting back into a chair. Sit, and come back up again. Lower, and lift. Keep pulling your belly in. Good. Six more. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. Good. Last five. Lower. And lift, doing great guys. Four more, sitting back in the chair. And lift, your last three. Sweeping your arms forward as your seat goes back. Two more, sit and stand. Good, last one, sit and stand. We're gonna come back to that seated spot. Hands in prayer, little pulses for 10, nine, eight. Keep the knees tracking straight ahead, buttocks back, spine in one diagonal line. Continue to pulse here, three more sets of 10, nine, eight, pull the belly in. Six, five, four, three, Two more sets like this for 10. Draw the shoulders down, lift the chest. Seven, six, five, four, three, two. One more set like this for 10. Nine, eight, keep shifting the weight back. Pull the belly in. Four, three, two, and one. Stand on up. We're gonna do that again. Inhale, sit, exhale, stand. Inhale, sit. So the arms sweep forward as the seat draws back. Again, sit and stand. Keep tracking the knees aligned with the hip points, sit and stand, doing great guys. Six more, sit and stand. Good, last five, doing great guys. Really sit back, feeling your booty work. Last three, doing great guys. Sit for two and one. Take it back down to that seated position, pulsing for 10, nine, eight, seven. Keep shifting the weight back into the heels. Four, three, two, continue to pulse like this for 10, nine, pull your belly in, seven, six, working into the buttocks, into the space where the hamstring and the buttocks meet there, two more sets, 10, nine, eight, keep tracking the knees straight ahead, feeling this in the quads, four, three, two, one more set, 10, keep pulling your belly in, lifting your chest, seven, six, five, good, track those knees straight ahead, three, two, and one, come on up, one more set, you're gonna inhale lower, exhale, lift again, lower, shift the weight back, and lift, doing a little bit of standing Pilates. Again, lower and lift, good, lower and lift. We've got five more, inhale, lower, exhale, lift, pull your belly in, last four. Doing great, guys, really step into the feet, three, good, 
last two. And this is your last one. Good, take it back down, four sets, 10 pulses, 10, shift the weight back, lift the toes up, seven, six, five, four, three, two, track the knees straight ahead for 10, nine, eight, seven, good, six, five, four, three, two more sets like this for 10, nine, eight, keep shifting the weight back, six, five, four, three, two, last set, quad should be burning, pull the belly in, lengthen the spine, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, stand on up, we'll come back to center, heels together, toes apart. Pull the belly in, lift the chest. We're gonna bend the knees as we open the arms out, and exhale, stand up. Inhale, open the arms out, bend the knees, and come on up, so the heels are sinking on these. Exhale, press up. Inhale, open the arms, bend the knees. Exhale, zip up through the midline. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. Get six more. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift, tracking the knees out. Again, inhale, lower. Exhale, lift, almost like bird wings. Last five. Good, inhale, lower for four. Keep pulling your belly in. Tailbone straight down, three. Try not to tuck or tilt, two. Good, last one. Now we're gonna take it back down and let's pulse for 10, nine, tailbone straight down, seven, pull the belly in, lift the chest, drop the shoulders, continuing to pulse here for 10, nine, eight, working into the inner thighs, five, four, three, two more sets like this for 10, keep sinking the heels, eight, seven, lift the chest, five, four, three, two, one more set, 10, pull the belly in, eight, seven, good, six, we're gonna do another round, two more sets of these, three, two, and one, zip up, good. Bend the knees and up. Good, inhale, lower. Exhale, zip up. Again, inhale, lower, open the arms. Exhale, zip up. Doing great, guys, lower. And lift, really zip up. Six more, inhale, lower. Exhale, lift, last five. Really smooth the arms out, pull your belly in. Four, keep sinking the heels. Last three, good, really engage. Two, Doing great, guys. Last one. Engage those buttocks. Let's come halfway down. Little pulses. Ten, nine. Pull the belly in. Seven, six, five, four, three, two. Continue to pulse here. Three more sets. If your arms get tired, let them rest or bring them here forward. Five, four, three. Good. Two more sets here. Ten. Keep pulsing. Don't give up. Seven, six, five, four, three, two. One more set. Shoulders drop. Chest lifts. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Two, one more set. Coming all the way up. Exhale, inhaling as we lower. Exhaling as we lift again. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. Doing great, guys. Lower and lift. That's six more here. Lower and lift. Keeping those heels together and down. Last five. Keep lengthening the spine, moving through the arms. Four, pulling your belly in. Last three. It's okay not to have a lot of equipment. We can move without equipment. All right, still getting our exercises too. And one, good, open the arms out, lift the chest, pulse it up for 10, nine, eight, pull the belly in, six, five, four, three, two, continue to pulse, keep pulling the belly and lifting the chest, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, we got two more sets here, 10, nine, eight, seven, drop the shoulders, lift the chest, four, three, two, one more set, 10, nine, eight, seven, good, inner thigh should be burning, four, three, two, and one, we're gonna stand up, feet hip width and parallel, I'm gonna turn, draw the shoulders back, put the weight into the right foot, soften the right knee, I'm gonna step that left foot back just slightly, draw the right hip back, hinge a quarter of the way forward, point the left toes, find your balance, hands to your hips, I'm gonna do little pulses with the left leg back, you can always use a wall if you need it, for 10, nine, eight, seven, keep scoring the hips, putting weight into that right heel, five, pointing the left toes, three, Two, continue to pulse again for 10. Pull the belly in, eight, seven, six, five. Pull your rib cage in, three, two. Continue to pulse here, another three more sets of these. Eight, seven, six, five, four. Working into the buttock. Continue to pulse, two more sets. Nine, eight, seven. Keep bending that right knee, not too deeply, just enough to get a little bit of work here. 10, nine, eight, seven. Good, we've got one more set after this one. Four, three, Two, last set here, 10. Pull the belly and lift the chest, drop the shoulder. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Stand on up, switch sides. Soften the left knee, draw the left hip back. Set that right foot back, point the toes, square the hips, let's pulse it for 10. Again, you can use the wall as you need to. Seven, six, root to the big toe side of that left foot. Five, 
four, three, two, continue to pulse here, 10, nine, eight, pull the belly in, six, five, four, three, two, continue to pulse. We've got three more sets here, eight, seven, squaring the hips forward, five, four, three, two more sets, guys, 10, nine, eight, draw the shoulders back, six, five, four, three, two, last set on this one, nine, eight, seven, really engage, five, four, three, two, and one, step down, we're gonna do another round, right foot down, left leg back, point the toes, right hip back, shift forward, float the left leg up, pulse it up for 10, nine, eight, keep dropping the shoulders, really sink into that right heel, five, really focus on squaring the hips, continuing to pulse, 10, nine, eight, seven, quick sharp pulses, five, four, three, good, three more sets like this for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, it's okay to lose your balance, I do it all the time, two more sets, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, last set, then we switch sides, nine, eight, keep tracking the right toe straight forward, four, three, two, and one, bring that left foot down, step into the left foot, soften the left knee, left hip back, point the right toes, we're going to pulse it up for 10, nine, eight, my left side's a little less balanced than my right, five, four, three, two, continue to pulse here for 10, nine, keep squaring that left hip back, right hip forward, five, four, three, two, continue to pulse, three more sets, you should be a little sweaty here, seven, six, five, four, three, two more sets, guys, 10, nine, eight, pull the belly in, shoulders back, five, four, three, two, last set, then we got one more round, losing my balance, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, stand on up, right foot down, Step your left foot back, draw the right hip back, bend that right knee, hinge a quarter of the way forward, pulse that left leg back, 10, nine, eight, seven, keep drawing the shoulders back and down, four, three, two, continue to pulse again for 10, weight in the right heel, seven, six, pull the belly in, four, three, two, continue to pulse for three more sets, nine, eight, keep squaring out, six, five, four, three, two, continuing here, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, last set, guys, stay with me, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, left foot down, right leg up, it's getting fatiguing, draw the left leg back, or left hip back, square out, pull your belly in, let's pulse it here for 10, nine, eight, draw the shoulders back, six, five, four, three, two, continue to pulse again for 10, it's always more challenging on the carpet, seven, six, five, four, three, good, three more sets, guys, pull the belly and shoulders back, eight, seven, stay with me, five, four, three, good, two more sets, drop the shoulders, lengthen the neck, eight, seven, pull the belly in, five, four, three, two, one more set, 10, really trying not to lose it, seven, six, five, four, three, up, oh, lost it, two, and one, all right, come back to center, shake it out, all right, so we're gonna go a little wider than hip width, Pull the belly and lift your chest. Even as instructors lose our balance. Hands to the hips. Come up onto the balls of the feet. We're gonna exhale, bend the knees. So the heels are gonna turn in, toes are gonna turn out. Last little bit of here standing. So I'd like you to do is draw your shoulders back, open the arms out, create a little circle here like you're hugging a tree. We're gonna pulse up and down for 10, nine, eight, seven. Pull the belly in, five, four, three. Stay squared center, shoulders over those hips again. 10, nine, keep lifting heels, seven, six, five, four, three, good, two, continue to pulse, we're going to do four more sets for ten, nine, eight, seven, track the outer knees toward the pinky toe sides of the feet, five, four, three, two, continue to pulse, three more sets, drop the shoulders, lift the chest, quick sharp pulses, six, five, four, three, two more sets like this for ten, pull the belly in, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, let's do one more set here, nine, eight, seven, good, six, five, four, three, two, and one, sink the heels, step in slightly, so I'm turning my right toes out, bending my right knee, shifting my weight to the right as I open my left leg out to the left, a little more balance work, square the hips, turn the toes out, pulse it out diagonally for 10, nine, eight, right hip back, left hip forward, lift the chest, four, three, two, continue to pulse here for 10, pull the belly in, eight, seven, good, six, five, four, three, 
two, continue to pulse, three more sets, guys, nine, really step into that right foot, soften the right knee, square the hips, the shoulders, five, four, three, good, two more sets here, 10, working to the outer hip, outer buttock, six, five, four, three, two, one more set, 10, nine, eight, keep pulling the belly in, lifting the chest, five, four, three, two, and one, all right, keep the leg out, we're just going to bend the knee, Toes aim back, we're just gonna pulse back for 10. Square the hips, eight, small movement but powerful. Six, five, four, three, two, continue to pulse again for 10, nine, eight. If you start to lose your balance, so bring your arms out, move slowly. Four, three, two, continue to pulse, easy to lose it for 10, nine, eight, lower the left buttock down. Five, four, we're only gonna do two more sets of these for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one more set, 10, nine, eight, seven, lift the chest, five, four, three, two, and one. Left foot steps down, you feel these pretty quickly. Soften the left knee, pull the belly and lift the chest, square your hips, open the right leg out, point the toes, shift your upper body to the left, pulse at 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, Four. We're fatiguing. This is the last bit here standing for 10. I'm not going to do three of these. It's pretty challenging as is. Five, four. They work the obliques pretty strongly too. Again, 10, nine, eight, seven. Pull the belly in. Five, four, three, two more sets here. 10, really engage. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Last set, guys. 10. If you lose your balance, just keep going. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Nothing's perfect here, so we bend the knee, toes aim back, soften the left knee, losing my balance. As you're ready, pulse back, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, keep breathing, lifting the chest, five, sink into that left heel, continue to pulse for 10. Square the left hip back, right hip forward, six, five, four, three, two, continue to pulse, three more sets, nine, try to avoid using the wall for myself. Little goal to have, four, three, Two, continue to pulse, two more sets. Nine, lift the chest, shoulders back. Six, five, four, three, two, one more set, then a little pause in a yoga pose. Eight, seven, maybe try to guess which one's coming. Four, three, two, and one, nice job. Set the feet down. Hip with parallel. Relax the shoulders, pull the belly in, heart rate maybe a little elevated. Find mountain pose. Remember, arms down by the hips, draw the shoulders down, step into your feet. Every muscle active. Step into the right foot, soften the right knee. You're gonna turn your left knee out, bring the heel of the left foot to the inner right calf, and the toes of the left foot press lightly into the inside of the right foot. Keep your hips and shoulders squared. Maybe come up to the calf, avoid the knee or ankle joint. Those of you who can, catch your left ankle and bring the heel up into the groin region. Let's bring the hands together in prayer. Lift the chest, pull the belly in, lower the left buttock down. You're gonna hold here. Breathe, keep your eyes on one fixed point. Root the big toe side of the right foot down. Remember, your body's gonna move even though you're in stillness. So you're just letting your body kind of respond like a tree swaying in the breeze, right? This tree pose. See, I'm losing my balance, I've lost it, stepped out. Tried to catch it and then step out. So take a moment, step out. Find your feet, relax the shoulders and breathe. So step into the left foot, soften the left knee. And all these practices are dynamic, right? Those days you have more balance, days you have less. I'm on carpet. Makes it a little harder. Soften the left knee. Good, turn that right knee out, square in the hips. Notice I'm not taking my hips into it. Hips are squared, my hip points are squared, my shoulders are squared. So your toes press into the inner edge of the left foot, heel to the left calf. Maybe you step the whole foot to the left calf. Maybe if you can, you bring the heel up into the inner thigh groin. Square your hips, open that right knee out. Breathe, hands to prayer. It's gonna assist you with balance. We're gonna find our breath, eyes on one fixed point, and we're gonna breathe. Again, remember the body's gonna sway, it's gonna do movements, you're just gonna be here present. We're gonna try this two more times. One of my favorite poses here. And from here, we'll transition down onto the ground. Good, let's release that right leg. Find your right foot, a little quicker here. I'm gonna go to the variation that works for me. I encourage you to do the same. Turn the knee out, either keep the toes down on the ground, left foot to the right inner calf, or bring the left foot to the right inner thigh, press the foot into the thigh, thigh into the foot, hands to prayer. Find your balance, breathe, eyes on one fixed point, lengthen your spine. 
So we went from a very active Pilates bar practice to a more stationary, finding balance yoga practice. It's gonna be a little bit challenging on the mind. A couple more breaths here. Lower that left buttock down. Good, and release the left foot. Let's set up the other side. Toes can be on the ground, foot to the calf, or foot to the left inner thigh. Square the shoulders, square the hips, but drop the shoulders, palms together in prayer. Stand up tall, find your breath. I'm just checking time to make sure I'm kind of staying on track. Don't wanna run us too, too long today. Lower the right buttock down, find your breath. Good, and then release the right leg. One last time tree pose. So again, go to the variation that works for you. If you wanna to try to move up to a higher variation, do so. If like me, you're getting a little fatigued, it's fine. Take your time. If you're in the pose, be in the pose. And you know that this is kind of real time stuff. I don't edit my classes as of right now. I don't see a reason to. We're all human beings, we all have better days, worse days, days that balance a little harder. So you might as well see that everybody goes through it, right? So you don't feel like you're the only one. And a couple more breaths like this. Good, we'll release the arms, release the leg. Let's do the other side. Loop the left foot, take that right foot, either foot to the calf or come up to the inner thigh. Hold it, breathe, lift your chest, drop your shoulders, connect to your breath. Excellent. So from here, we're gonna bring that right foot down. So I'm gonna have us do steps to the back of the mat, short side of the mat, so we're gonna go to the back of the mat. In yoga, we usually transition at the front most of the time. We'll do a little bit of Pilates version. So we're gonna go to the back of the mat, feet hip width and parallel. We're gonna reach the arms up, palms are gonna face forward, lift your chest, pull your belly in, you're gonna round your spine down, shift the weight into the heels, tailbone drops, pull the abdominals in, looking down into your belly, rib cage, touching down on the ground. Just round your spine for a moment here. Pull the abdominals in like an angry cat, soft knees. Then inhale, spine halfway up, lengthen your spine, hands to your shins. Good, now exhale, hands down. We're gonna inhale, walk out to a plank. Wrists are underneath the shoulders, extend out through the heels, push away from gravity, spread your fingers out. Exhale, rock forward, tippy toes, inhale back. Again, exhale forward and back. Doing great, guys, forward. Keep your cervical spine in line with the rest of your spine. Good, forward, pull the abdominals in and up, forward and back. Let's do five more. Good, push away from gravity, last four. Keep pulling your belly in, three. Good, two and one. Now step your left arm slightly forward and to the left. You can always drop your left knee under the hip or roll onto the outer edge of left foot. Stack your shoulders, hips, knees, ankles, and feet. Reach your right arm up for side plank. Pull your belly in. Hold here for five. Drop the shoulders, four. Good, three. Two, one, go back to your full plank, wrists underneath the shoulders, and rock back and forth again for 10. Exhale forward, inhale back, nine. Pull the belly in, eight, seven. Push away from gravity, six, five. Good, four, three, two, and one. Now either drop the right knee underneath the right hip or step your right arm slightly forward, roll onto the outer edge of right foot. Lift your left arm up, lengthen both sides of the waist, hold for five, four, three, two, one. To return to your full plank, and rock back and forth again, wrists underneath the shoulders, exhale forward for 10. Good, nine, pull your belly in, eight, seven, draw the shoulders back, six, five, good, four, three, two, and one. Now exhale, hips up and heels back into downward dog, upside down V-shape. So your hands are gonna be shoulder width apart, feet hip width apart. Sink your heels. Draw your chest towards your thighs. Breathe, find your breath. So again, if you can't sink your heels nowhere, you can bend your knees and take a little stretch here, lengthening your spine. Draw the tailbone back and up, shoulders are back. Good, keep lengthening your spine. Let's inhale, lift up onto the balls of the feet. Exhale, lower. Again, inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Good, lift and lower. Doing great, guys. Lift and lower. Six more, inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Good, last five. Keep dropping your shoulders. Lift for four, keep pulling your belly in, last three. Good, lower for two, and one. 
Now we're going to head rock forward to plank. Inhale. Exhale. Bend the knees. Go back like a squat. Inhale forward. Exhale. Go back. Try to keep a parallel spine. Inhale forward. Exhale back. Knees track in line with the hips and forward. Again, back and forward. Doing great, guys. Six more. Exhale back. Inhale four. Last five. And four. Keep tracking those knees straight ahead. Four. Doing great. You can always hold these last three. We're going to always hold a plank, always hold a down dog. Two. And one. Now exhale, hips up and heels back once again. In your downward facing dog, sending the seat back and up and the chest toward the thighs as the collarbone broadens. So you do a little twisted dog. You're going to keep the upper body as is. Turn onto the outer edge of the right foot, inner edge of left foot. Draw your hips back. So it's like you're trying to stack your hips. Breathe. Now inhale, rock forward to a little twisted plank. So the upper body's in full plank, lower body's like in a side plank. And again, exhale, twisted dog. Nice big stretch. Inhale, twisted plank. Pull your belly. I'm going to do three more on this side. Exhale, twisted dog. Good. Inhale, twisted plank. Push away from gravity. Pull the belly in. Last two. Exhale, twisted dog. Keep softening the chest toward the thighs. Inhale, twisted plank. Good. This is your last one. Exhale, twisted dog. Inhale, twisted plank. Then come back to full plank, push away from gravity, and exhale, downward dog. Send your seat back and up, draw the chest toward the thighs, allow the collarbones to broaden and connect to your breath. <sighs> Let's go ahead and lift and lower the heels again for 10. Inhale as you lift, exhale as you lower, nine. Good, eight, keep sending the chest toward the thighs, triceps spiraling in, six, pull the belly in, five. Good, last four, doing great, shoulders are back, three. Arms should fatigue, two. And one. Good, now let's go ahead and do that twisted dog. So outer edge of left foot, or sorry, right foot, inner edge of left foot, stack those hips. So we're gonna inhale, rock forward to twisted plank. Remember, lower body's in a plank, upper body full plank. Exhale, twisted dog. Try to stack those hips, chest toward the thighs. Inhale, twisted plank, push away from gravity, lengthen the spine. Exhale, twisted dog. Three more of these, keep drawing the shoulders back. Inhale, rock forward, twisted plank, push away from gravity, shoulders are back. Exhale, twisted dog, you got two more guys. Inhale, twisted plank, actively push away from the mat, pull the belly in. Exhale, twisted dog, last one, inhale, twisted plank. Good, exhale, twisted dog. Now we inhale, come forward, return to full plank. And then exhale, downward dog once again. Seat is back and up, and chest is toward the thighs. Breathe. Good, now from here, I'm gonna go ahead and scooch back a little bit. Keeping dog, we're gonna inhale, rock forward to plank. Exhale, tippy toes, knees can come down, chaturanga, slow lower chaturanga, shoulders are back, elbows are in, neck is long. Then inhale, thread the heart between the shoulders in your cobra. I'm gonna widen my legs a little wider, back's a little tight. Draw your shoulders back, pull the belly in, connect your breath, engage your buttocks, lift your chest. Good, we're gonna do a little bit of spinal extension here. Good, now we're gonna come back down, exhale. Could you reach your arms back by your hips, bring your chin down to the mat. Legs can come a little closer here. Anchor your hip points and pubic bone down. Good, we're gonna inhale, flip the head up, chest up, arms up, legs up. Breathe, now don't you hold those legs up, connect to your breath, interlace your fingers, draw your knuckles back and lift your chest. Now go ahead, twist a little bit to the right, keep the lower body squared, a little bit to the left. Good, exhale to the right, pull the belly in and to the left. To the right, exhale, to the left, exhale. Good, two more to the right. You should feel your belly work left. Keep working the buttocks to the right and to the left. Now, arms go to Zorro, cactus arms. You do a little side bend, so it's like elbow to the right hip, inhale, center, exhale, elbow to the left hip. Center, elbow, right hip. Center, elbow, left hip. Center, they're not gonna touch, it's going toward and left. Keep lifting the legs up, right? Working into the booty and left. We're gonna do two more sets, right? And left. Good, last set, right? And left. Keep the arms up, legs up. Little swimmer kicks of those legs for 10, nine, eight. Pull the belly in, six. Lift the chest, four. Lift those arms up, three, two, one. Both legs now, 10. Good, exhale as you lift, nine, eight. Keep pulling the abdominals in, seven, six, Good, five, we're gonna be turning this into Cobra when we're done with the reps. Three, two, and one. Bring your wrists underneath your shoulders, inhale up to Cobra. 
See if you can lift that chest up a little more, soften the elbows. You don't need to straighten the arms out. Anchor the quads and tops of the feet. Pull the belly in. One more breath. Good, then exhale, come back down. Take a moment. Put your arms back, interlace your fingers, draw your knuckles back. Anchor your hips down. Float those legs up. Breathe. Now we're gonna go right, center, exhale left. Center, keep the hips anchored, right. Center again, exhale left. Center, three more sets like this, right. Center and left, keep lifting the legs up. Two more, right. Center and left. It's just a little lean of the upper body and pulling the abdominals in. Left, center last time, right. Center, then we have the goalpost arms, center. Arms up, it's exhale to the right hip, inhale center. Exhale left hip, center, good, right. Lift those legs up, left. Four more sets, right and left. Keep drawing the shoulders back, last three, right and left. Doing great, guys, two more, right and left. Last set, right and left. Good hands interlace, reach those arms back, swimmer kicks for 10, nine, pull the belly in, eight, seven, six, anchor the hip points, four, three, two, one. Keep those arms up, both legs for 10, nine, Eight, keep engaging, seven, almost done, six, only two sets of these, these are challenging, five, four, three, two, one, cobra pose, wrists underneath the shoulders, shoulders back, elbows in, inhale, carefully exhale, big toes together, knees apart, child's pose. Bring your buttocks back to your heels, open the knees up wide, chest toward or to the thighs, find your breath. Good lower back brought in. Soft in here, so I'm a little tight today. You can see my chest is not dropping to the mat. Back's a little sore. Breathe. Good, now we're gonna come up to all fours. Cross the ankles behind us, roll over those crossed ankles, and take a seat and scooch forward. So you can go ahead and grab your block or your pillow. I'm not gonna use the bands today. So I'm gonna take the block next to me and walk my feet in a little closer. Take my hands to my shins. I'm gonna rock back onto my sacrum, just past my sits bones. I'm gonna bring my legs up to tabletop legs. So calves parallel to the mat. I'm gonna flex my feet, reach my heels away from me. Lift my chest up. Now try to extend your legs up if you can, drop the shoulders. Reach your arms out on either side of your knees. Then we're gonna exhale, tilt the tailbone between the thighs, slowly roll down onto our backs. Hold this here for a moment. Pull the belly in. Now exhale, curl up an inch or two. Inhale, lower. Again, exhale, curl up. Inhale, lower. Six more of these. Curl up. You can always bend your knees. Last five. Exhale, curl up and lower. Good. Four more. Curl up and lower. Doing great, guys. Last three. Curl up and lower. Two more. Curl up and lower. Last one. Curl up. Hold, hold, hold. And then release the spine. Release the legs. All right, so from here, we're gonna take our block or pillow. We're gonna keep both arms down on either side of the rib cage, so left arm, right arm. Hug your inner elbows in. Walk your heels toward your buttocks, bending your knees deeply. We're gonna inhale, tilt the tailbone up to imprint the low back, tailbone lifts up a little bit. The low back is flat on that ground. Then we're gonna squeeze the buttocks. Exhale, peel the lower back up. Middle back up, upper back up. Press your shoulders and elbows, forearms down, um, triceps down into the mat. I'd like you to take the block on its lowest level, place it to your sacrum. It's the flat shelf at the base of the spine, just beneath your lumbar curve, just above your gluteal curve. Your sacrum should rest comfortably on the block or the pillow, whatever you're using, the, the squishy ball. You're gonna bring legs to tabletop, knees over the hips, arms are down on either side of your mat. We're gonna do some single taps, toe taps, so the angle of the knee doesn't change. So we're gonna inhale, tap the right toes down, Exhale, return knee over the hip. Inhale, tap left and center. Keep your rib cage in. Inhale, tap right. Exhale, knee over the hip. Inhale, tap left. Good. Again, tap right. Center, tap left. Center, really pull the belly in. Tailbone lengthens right. Center, left. Center, doing great. Five more sets right. Center and left. Center, good. Four more sets right. Center and left. Center, doing great, guys. Last three, right. Center and left. Center, good. Two more, right. Center, keep lengthening the tailbone, left. 
center, last one right, center, and left, center. Flex your feet, lengthen your spine, both legs at the same time. Inhale, dip, exhale, lift, lengthen your tailbone. That's a challenge here, keep the rib cage in. Inhale, dip, exhale, lift. Should feel this in your belly, not your back. Should be pretty challenging. Good, inhale, dip, exhale, lift. Let's do six more of these. Inhale, dip, exhale, lift. Running a little over, probably go to 40 minutes. Inhale, dip, exhale, lift. Good, last four. Inhale, dip, keep those shoulders heavy. Exhale, lift. Doing great, guys, three more. Inhale, dip, exhale, lift. Good, last two. Inhale, dip, exhale, lift. This is your last one. Inhale, dip, exhale, lift. Now extend the legs up, ankles over the hips. Lengthen your tailbone away from you. Take a moment, open your arms out to T. Just stretch into the hamstrings. Breathe. Inhale. And exhale. Reach your arms up. Reach through the heels of the palms. Like you're trying to place your palms on the ceiling. Plug the shoulders into the mat. Breathe. Good, now bring the right knee in towards your chest. Flex your right foot, hold on to the right hamstring or shin. And let the left leg just hover for a moment. It's not touching the ground yet. Flex your left foot. Exhale, lift the left leg up, ankle over the hip, inhale, lower to hover. Good, pull the belly in, exhale, lift, lengthen the right buttock away. Inhale, lower, try to get that ankle over the hip. Exhale, lift. Good, inhale, lower, keep pulling the abdominals in again. Exhale, lift. Inhale, lower, we've got three more of these. Exhale, lift, working into those left obliques a little bit here. Last two, exhale, lift. Inhale, lower. This is your last one, exhale, lift. Inhale, lower. Now we'll switch it out, left knee in, right leg up, flex your left foot, inhale lower, exhale, pull the belly and lift. Remember, foot is flexed, ankle over the hip. Inhale lower, keep pulling the abdominals in, exhale lift. Doing great guys, lengthen the left buttock away, inhale lower, exhale lift. Good again, inhale lower, keep the rib cage in, shoulders heavy. Good, four more, inhale lower, exhale lift. Doing great, last three, lower, exhale and lift. Good, two more. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. This is your last one. Lower and lift. Now bend both knees, wrap both arms around the hamstrings or shins, lengthen your tailbone away from you, rock a little bit left and right. We're gonna bring the soles of the feet to the mat. Straighten the legs away from you for a moment. Pull the belly in, just lift your rib cage, lifts the hips up, and reach the arms overhead. Take about 30 second, maybe 40 second stretch. Just relax. If this goes into your lumbar spine, just tilt your tailbone up a little bit and pull the abdominals in. Protects your back. Relax your jaws. And then slowly kind of bring the sole of the feet to the mat, walking the heels in towards you. Arms are going to go down on either side of your body, getting ready for bridge. I want you to tilt your tailbone up a little bit here. Squeeze the buttocks, pull the belly in, press the arms down, inhale, lift the hips up, remove the block, set it aside, and then exhale, lower your upper back down, middle back down, lower back down, hips, buttocks, and tailbone. Let's open the arms out to T, and let's just release both knees to the right and the head to the left. Keep both shoulders down. Lengthen your left buttock away from you. Find your breath. Good, then inhale, nose and knees to center, and then let's release the knees to the left and the head to the right. Good, nose and knees to center. Now we're going to go ahead and inhale, extend the right leg up. Cross the right ankle over the left quad and just stay here for a moment in a figure four stretch. So getting into your piriformis, external hip, really pull your belly in, relax the shoulders, make sure the hips aren't dipping, they're on the same plane. And then just go ahead and rock a little bit left and right. Just release some tension here. Okay, now what I'd like us to do is keep the figure four, but just slide your left leg out, flexing your left foot, and think of almost like a figure four tree. Anchor your left side down, so left buttock down, left shoulder down, opening up into that right hip. Good. 
just going to slide that left sole of the foot back in. Uncross that right leg, sole of the foot to the mat. Inhale, extend the left leg up, cross the left ankle over the right quad. Just be here for a little bit, make sure the hips are level. Breathe. Relax your shoulders. And then all we're going to do is just move the hips a little bit left and right. Keep lengthening the left buttock away. You should feel a little bit of a stretch in the inner thigh as well here. Push as you slide the knee away. So I'm doing on time. All right. We're going to extend that right leg out. Flex the foot. Anchor that right hip down. Hands can go to your hip points just to make sure they're level. Feel that left hip inner thigh open up here. And then we're going to bring that right sole of the foot to the mat. Uncross that left leg. Take a moment, bring the soles of the feet together, knees apart. Close your eyes. You can rest your hands on your inner thighs, hip points, or belly, and just breathe. Good. Now let's inhale, bring the soles of the feet back to the ground. Let's exhale, roll on to our right side. Pause for a moment in a fetal position. Place the left palm to the earth in front of your heart. Inhale, come up to a cross-legged seat. So take a moment here, resting your hands on your lap, relaxing the shoulders and breathing. Let's bring the palms together in prayer. Take a moment to practice gratitude, grateful for someone and something this morning. As ever, thank you so much for practicing with me. I appreciate it. If you feel compelled to donate, you can PayPal me at yogini4877 at gmail.com. That's Y-O-G-I-N-I-4877 at gmail.com. Or you can Venmo me at Alejandra, A-L-E-J-A-N-D-R-A dash Bozalasco, B-O-Z-Z-O-L-A-S-C-O. Any donations would be appreciated and um, I'm grateful for it. Otherwise, keep watching my classes, keep sharing with other people, and um, just keep watching. I'll see you guys soon. Um, tomorrow, bring you a brand new class. Have a wonderful, wonderful day.